we spoke a little about modern human history and we had a, a bit of an opportunity to chat this morning very briefly, um, Laura and I. But let's go back a little bit further. Where did our lineage, our human lineage start? Where did we come from? Yes. Pardon? Yes. Wolves. Ah, okay. <laughs> Only in Rome. Maybe in the Jungle Book. <laughs> but but hold on, our human lineage, who we are, our we are people, okay? We're primates, aren't we? Yeah. Are wolves primates? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. Wait, no. Never mind. Just, Just go back. Just Let's start again. Time. So, humans <laughs> here in Africa, where did we really come from? Just humans across the time world, time. where did we originate? Uh, Anybody? Uh, Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, that's what we are right now. Uh, and, uh, monkeys. <laughs> uh, monkeys, sort of. Uh, monkeys are in our family. They're in our order, aren't they? Not our family, but in our order. So monkeys are primates too. But to give you an idea, in terms of the fossils of our species, the, the knowledge that we have, yep, we got that on video, it's fantastic. <laughs> in terms of the knowledge we have, the oldest fossil in our lineage is from here in Africa. Okay. And this creature didn't look like you or I. It looked much more like one of the monkeys we see in the trees. Any idea how long ago? I mean, to put things in perspective, we as human beings in our current shape and form have probably been here for between two and three hundred thousand years. Two and three hundred thousand. Like, that's it. So how early do you think we as, as an order appeared on the scene? Any suggestions? Any guesses? A million three, years? Three okay. million. Three million? Sorry? 1. 1. 1.5 million. Well, I've got a little fellow here. He's kind of hiding under this stuff. There he is. This little chap comes from a place in Egypt called the Fayum Depression and is estimated to be about 35 million years old. 35. So at that time, Fayum was a forested, marshy part of the world. It wasn't like the Egypt of today, which is mainly desert, except along the Nile. In fact, even along the Nile. And this little guy was part of what we consider a multi-male society. I briefly discussed that with you yesterday, talking about the teeth. So we've got these long, ferocious canines. The teeth are designed for chewing nuts and seeds. We know that nuts were part of the diet because of the powerful sagittal crest and the massive muscle attachment that must have gone through, the, through these zygomatic arches. Okay. It moved on all fours. We know that because of the position of the entry of the spine into the skull. So this creature's head was at that angle as it moved along. We found its legs and its limbs. We know it had a tail. The tail was not prehensile. So it was not able to use its tail like many monkeys are able to today. So I'm going to pass this around. I would like you to please be careful with the skulls. Um, they get dropped and chipped and damaged and they're quite special to me. So you're welcome to have a little look as I send them around. So that is Egyptopithecus zeuxis or the dawn ape. If you'd like it's to write down the common name, you're replica? welcome. Pardon? Is this a replica? If it wasn't a replica, I'd be standing here wearing gold-plated clothing, and I wouldn't have had to do my own makeup. Yeah. The dawn ape, as in the very early morning ape. Now, these are all replicas. I unfortunately do not have access to the real ones. I wouldn't even be allowed to look at them. They're very expensive. 